Hey YouTube, today we are going to install a integrated brake controller for this 2018 Dodge Ram 1500. So let's get to work. I ordered this off of Amazon for about $210. And here's what you get. You get the controller box. This is the uh, control module. The bracket. The actual controller, brake controller that'll go in the dash. It's a three self-tapping screws that'll be used to attach the bracket to the inside of the truck. First thing you want to do is disconnect your negative battery terminal. Fully remove your negative battery terminal. Okay, next we've got to remove the uh, the dash, the center console and um, the media center here. So there are a couple of screws that um, hold this in, actually just one, just pull this out. There is a seven mil millimeter bolt there that I've already uh, um, pre-loosened by hand. So let me take that out of there. That kind of comes out just like that. And then there is a couple of screws that are back behind here. And those are right in there. I'll take those out. And with those screws out, then this just lifts up and out of place. There is a connector for the 12 volt right on underneath there. And that'll just pull out nice and easy with the clips. And just pulls out. I needed both hands so I couldn't hold my phone. But this just has a little clip that goes on the inside of that uh, 12 volt receptacle. And then there are three T20 type screws that need to be taken out. There are two that are up here in this little cup, this little receptacle. Pull out the, uh, pull out this. And that takes like the star bit. That's not the one. Takes the star bit. This one here. T20. And those screws are just right in here. Um, 
down. And two. And then there's a third. And it's right here in this little cubby right here. It's gonna, there's a little mat that's in there that comes out. And then you probably can't see, but back in there is a screw. Is also that star type. I'll pull that out. And then with those screws pulled out, then the trim just comes off. A little bit of muscle. Try not to break any of the uh, clips. It's, once again, I'm going to Pause and pull that off with both hands. And then she comes off like this. And on the back side there are your connections. Now don't worry too much about remembering which one came from which because there's really only one way for those to come back in. So I'm going to disconnect all of those and pull the panel completely off. Okay, now on the back side of this, here is the panel that needs to come out. This is uh, on the front side. That's down here. That panel is going to come out so that we can install the controller. And that is being held in by four Phillips screws. One, two, three and four. I will take those out. Okay, I've got it out of the truck. These then are just kind of held in with some clips and it pulls straight out. Like that. And then on the back side, here is where, where the empty space is on the front, right here. That'll come out with some clips. And then we install the, um, the, uh, the dash controller. So the old one comes out like so. And then the new one right here. Flips in and then just pops into place. Okay, next I need to remove two screws right here and the same one over there. There she is, and pop off this panel underneath the steering wheel. Nice good, nice, good, healthy tug. And that panel comes off and out of the way. And I will unclip the ignition harness. And um, this harness here to just kind of get things out of the way. And the part of the job I'm really not looking forward to is mounting that bracket in my research. So right up here is where that bracket's going to go. And in my research, this is the one that tends to drive people insane. Because there's one screw, there are three that mount that bracket. There are, is one screw that is really difficult to get to. So we'll see how, how that works here. But... Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull this panel off and mount the bracket. One of the steps that they recommend, important steps, is to make sure that you pre-thread your screws that are going to go into the bracket. 
from the back side. So I've put those screws in using a seven millimeter socket and just pre-screwed them in there um, just to get the uh, threads working. So that's done. I'll back those out and then we'll mount that to the inside of the truck. Okay, about an hour and a half, not quite, about an hour later, and I've got two of the three brackets, uh, two of the three screws put through the brackets. Um, that third one really looks impossible, um, at least without maybe an extension, um, a ratchet extension with a swivel head to it. Um, but it is super solid, like, I'm really pulling on that and it's not anywhere and I've seen other people where they've uh, just left it with two of the the screw brackets or two of the screws into the brackets so I think I'm gonna stay there I will say that um, a seven millimeter ratchet would be really helpful I couldn't find a, a seven millimeter ratchet so I just had a, a regular wrench and you know it took about 12th of a turn every time, especially back here with the top rear screw. It's back in here. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Um, that one was very difficult to get my hand in through um, through the back of where the uh, you know the air duct is here. And, and back in here, if I would have had a ratchet and not have to reposition my wrench each time, that would have gone a lot faster. The one bolt, or the one screw that's down here, that one wasn't quite so bad. Um, but once again, a ratchet would make that go a whole lot faster. I ended up using a socket. The socket doesn't fit, but I ended up taking this socket and hand screwing it in um until it got tight and then i used my wrench seven millimeter wrench to uh to finish um so the brackets in now we have to install the module and plug in these into that bracket or into the um, module So now we go to install this. There are three clips at the top and uh, one here at the bottom. And what's interesting here is that there's three of these three clips at the top. There's only two notches at the top that that goes in on. The other one just kind of hangs off. So. Just clips on nice and tight. And then these plug in to those right there. And I'm just going to plug those in. And there they are, all snapped into place. Now it's just a matter of reinstalling everything that we had taken off. Okay, so I have everything put back together. Um, I just um, reversed everything that I did, taking it apart, of course. Um, so all of the screws went back in and um, all of the, uh, the trim and the... Um, uh, bins and then here's the new brake controller the one thing that'll still need to happen is that I'll need to take this to the dealership and have um, the software flashed that'll be a hundred and seventeen dollars um, I have seen some people have um, 
that module that they're able to do at home. I looked into that. That was about a hundred dollars. Um, you know, I didn't really see using, um, that, uh, that module to access the truck's computer. Um, I didn't see using that going forward. So I'll just take mine to the dealership and have them, um, flash the system. What that'll do is get the truck to recognize that the brake controller is installed and then on the um, dash then you'll see the the settings for the brake controller and uh, you know the different settings and then being able to positive you know uh, increase the gain and decrease the gain with your trailer brake um, overall I think this project was um, was a pain um, definitely the worst part was putting the bracket um, on just because of the the very small amount of space that you have to access those screws um, but all in all I probably did end up um, you know the couple hours that I put into it was well worth whatever I would have saved having to take it to the dealership um, to have them do it um, so, you know, um, it's, it, it was time consuming and it was a little bit frustrating, but, um, but ultimately I'm happy with how it turned out and, um, how that, uh, that looks and, um, that is, um, the completion of the 2018 Ram, uh, 1500 installation of the integrated brake controller, trailer brake.